Hi. Let's get to work. I've already created the composition and prepared the elements for the front and back of the card. On the timeline, I'll add the graphic for the front. The card is too large, so I'll press S and adjust the scale to make it smaller. Let's also add the back graphic and set the scale to 60%. We need to pre-compose the front. In the Effect and Presets panel, let's search for the Shatter effect and apply it to the front of the card. In the View parameter, we need to select Rendered. Under Shape and Pattern, choose Custom, and then select the front composition. In Force 1, set everything to zero. In Camera Position, we can adjust the position of our graphic, so let's rotate it. Now we can see it's no longer just a flat graphic. To make it more visible, I'll set the extrusion depth to 1. There's empty space between the front and back that we need to fill with a color. In Textures, under Side Mode, we'll set it to Color. To make the color white, go to Lighting, select First Comp Light, and set Ambient Light to 1. Now, I can choose any color. Now it looks good. In Textures, under Back Mode, we can set the back to use the back layer. Let's check it. If the graphic doesn't align properly, simply create a pre-compose for the layer. Now we can set it as the back graphic. It works! Now I want to create an animation for the card rotation. Let's set Y rotation to 30. However, I don't need the animation to last 20 seconds, so I'll trim the composition to 4 seconds. I'll create a keyframe for Y rotation at 30. At this point, I'll rotate the card slightly. But for now, it rotates slowly so we can see what's on the front. Around the 2 second mark, I want the back of the card to be visible. Then the card can rotate slowly to show the other side. Finally, it will return to the same position as at the beginning, creating a seamless loop. If the starting value is 30, at the end, we subtract 30 from 360 and set the value to minus 330. Let's check. It's okay, but I'll speed up the last rotation a bit, it feels too slow. Open the Graph Editor, select the Y Rotation parameter, and right-click on the graph. Choose Keyframe Velocity and select Continuous. Next, select all the keyframes and press F9. To ensure the motion doesn't stop, raise the speed points for all the keyframes, including the start and end. I think it looks good now. For the final touch, I'll add a shine effect to the card. We need the light sweep effect for this. Apply it to the graphic and adjust some parameters, like color and the position of the shine.
Oh, I messed something up. Well, I need to disable the region of interest. I'll create an animation by setting a keyframe in center. For my animation, the shine will move from right to left. Alright, that's it. I think you'll manage this easily. We just need to repeat the same animation multiple times as the card rotates. I can move on to setting the light position. I want the light on each side to move across the card from right to left. A few frames and adjustments, and it'll be ready. At the end, we'll duplicate the first frame to create a loop. Oh no, that's not how it should be. We need to add one more keyframe here. Just copy it, and it'll be fine. Like, subscribe, and see you next time. Lastly, if you're still here, leave a comment, let it spread across the world.